Thank you, Steve. Uh, it's been a difficult year in many ways. Uh, for me personally, I've been uh, struggling with some health issues and getting through those. And each and every day I continue the battle knowing that it makes a difference to my family and my friends. On the professional side, uh, we in Steuben County adopted a new charter, we've been putting that in place. And like all of you, we've had to continue to address all the challenges that every county official has to deal with every day and every day and every day. We in government are closest to the people and with that comes the concerns that the public have and they're not shy in expressing to us. I'd like to take an opportunity, this opportunity, to provide you with a quick review of NYSAC's past year. Our advocacy has had another successful year. In particular, NYSAC has successfully convinced the state legislature to reform certain aspects of the governor's property tax freeze rebate program. We persuaded the legislature to have a, a prior shared services qualify for the rebate. That was a big deal. Uh, going forward, I think uh, many of us will will see that as a big benefit. This new law was a priority to the governor and we're grateful that the state officials recognized the shared services that all of us have been doing over the many years. We established a partnership with the Conference of Mayors, the Association of Towns, the School Boards Association to promote shared services, efficiencies and collaborations that are already being done at the local level. We compiled a list of nearly a thousand examples from our counties in terms of examples of things that we're already doing for shared services activities. Um, and I'm sure there are many more than that. In terms of mandates, this coming year, our counties will see zero growth in state mandated Medicaid expenses for the first time. That's a milestone. I think you all we all deserve credit for that major policy change at the state level. It took years. Since 1966, NYSAC and counties have been advocating for some change for that hard cap in Medicaid, and I think we finally got there. We achieved a, zero growth, or a limited growth cap in 2005. We fought for Medicaid savings through the Affordable Care Act, and we fought for a phased-in hard cap three years ago. Last year, we achieved that accelerated cap. I'm pleased to report that these advocacy successes have saved hundreds of millions in additional dollars to our local taxpayers. Obviously, much, much more needs to be done in mandate relief. And relief needs to come uh, for all of our local taxpayers. But there's one certainty, and that's we've taken a step in the right direction. And I'd like to thank each of you in the room and all the county officials who couldn't be here with us today for their steadfast effort to convince state leaders to assume the cost of their programs. I like to say, pay their own bills. We have, we have a resolution that we will vote on tomorrow to continue our call for a state takeover of Medicaid costs. I'm particularly pleased that the governor and the state legislature enacted nearly a dozen new laws combating the spread of heroin. This epidemic has taken too many lives, and the more we can focus on the problem, the better off we'll all be. NYSAC continued its focus on home rule bills in 2014, and although it was an off year for most county sales tax rate renewals, I'm pleased to report that several new home rule bills were enacted. Our future is dependent on our economy and our ability to employ our citizens. And as we all know, the economy is still struggling, especially in upstate New York. Our sales tax collections remain uneven. Many counties have collections at pre-recession levels or flat. A few counties are the fortunate ones that are seeing some growth. So NYSEC will continue to work with state officials on the need to address the economic priorities of counties in the years ahead. I appreciate the opportunity to have served you all. Your board of directors and the staff work extremely hard on your behalf every day. And I want to thank you for your support and wish you all the most success as you prepare to finalize your budgets for 2015. Thank you very much. Mark, on behalf of, uh, uh, on behalf of the uh, board, the uh, Tony Vicente is presenting you a, a capital of your favorite place, the state capital. 
and all, and all, <laughs> all of our favorite places. But right. uh, really, thank you very much, President Alger.